Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ark the Lad Twilight of the Spirits with me, Ultra Gamer J. In our last episode, we we explored Crag Island and despite and decide and a coming the friggy frat. I made a terrible error thinking I had enough money for an anti-slothian item. Turns out I didn't, but... Oh, before I leave this island, it will be mine. This I swear. Forgot to charge up Cargus part Spirit Stones, so let's fix that. And now let's talk to some of the locals. This actually looks like a pretty nice place, despite all the filthy Slothians here. You are so lucky that SSI and SSDI are not a thing in this society. Because then I'd hate them even more! Sounds to me like they're completely useless, and keeping them alive is counterproductive. At best. At best. It'd probably be for the better to grind them up into wonderful sausage. Talk to this nice native. Stupid Slothian. Not letting me talk to the native. Can I get up there to talk? I oh oh, oh I can, I can. I hope we are not in one of those communes where they think it's okay, where everyone shares everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything, because I refuse to share my toothbrush with anyone. Toothpaste? That's fine. Floss? That is also okay. But sharing my toothbrush with someone is just disgusting. And an infection control issue.
Yeah, this island seems like the only place place a Slothian could survive. Even though, I mean, I don't consider them Deimos because we never see them in like Deimos establishments like Rue Loon or um, Orkoth. So, um, yeah. But that's probably because they'd be easy pickings. Like, what with Law of the Jungle and all that. Then why even ask to, if you can help in the first place? You are such a waste of resources. There's another one that we still have to explore the first half. Yeah, I think, if anything, the Slothians count more as monsters, like Bebe Dora. And personally, I would rather have live on an island filled with Bebe Doras than Slothians. Because the Bebe Doras would pull their weight. Provided we asked them politely. And, I don't know, give them ice cream as payment. Well, considering that Slothians sleep when the sun is out, especially when they're el when they're geriatrics, why do I get the feeling they're not going to be of much help? Yeah, something tells me keeping Slothians, living with a Slothian is more trouble than it's worth. Normally, I'm against colonialism, but in the case of Slothians, I'm willing to make an exception. But just this once.
Oh crap, this is just a repeat. No, I feel like I'm just gonna get the same thing I... thing. Yeah, um, status quo is Latin for the mess that you are in right now. Seriously, fuck maintaining the status quo. I mean, if the Slothians are so peaceful, then why have they attacked Cargan friends ev whenever we encounter them? Checkmate. I rest my case. The only good Slothian is a dead one. possible, but oh well. Oh god, oh goody, look at them all just sleeping like little angels. It'd be so easy to sli slice open their aortic valve. Or, as, it, by, as it's known by its less scientific name, windpipe. And then it's game over for them. Someone who likes to drink and and engages in flower picking? That's an unusual combination. Not judging, it's just you never see those two things together. More power to them. Good for them. Something tells me there was a grammatical error there. Like it should be all hail the king, like not have it go twice, or all hail king the king, or something like that.
I know that feeling. Who would want to pet a Slothian? They're not a cat or a dog. Or a guinea pig. Or something cute and cuddly. Huh. I'm sure that the person who wrote this epitaph, and possibly the others, was a person of very great significance to this franchise. Nice. You'd have- I'd have to be some kind of idiot to not know that- that he was probably in a collect- in- or the- that there were three games before this, and then- but- and they got exported, but I didn't know that until recently. And that's probably the last time I'm ever going to make that self-deprecating jab at myself. Not that it isn't deserved, mind you, but still, someone's probably grown tired of that. Then again, it's not like I do that every episode. Just whenever there's a legacy thing. You're just trying to get made into slothy and short ribs, aren't you?
Wow. Someone just got earned, got a one-way ticket to the meat grinder. I'd make a I'd make another jab at myself for being an idiot and not knowing about the Ark the Lad collection, but I already did that, and I feel like doing that once an episode is more than enough. Especially since I think this is the last, like, thing that mentions prior installments. Oh, I'm in the mood for a 4x4 Slothian burger now. I mean, I shouldn't eat a 4x4, but still. Yeah, that gets you a blade to the throat. Because Slothians... I do not consider Slothians Deimos.
didn't even wait for a yes or no. Friggin' Slothians. They wonder why I hate them. Wow, you don't even feel guilty about potentially sending Dark and Lilia to, into a death trap. Friggin' Slothians. Huh. Well, that explains something. I think I asked every single one of these useless slug -a beds. Oh, never mind. So, if someone were to bring machines here, that would screw everything up. Uh, I thought there was one more there, but there isn't. Probably for the best. Although I have to wonder how the hell Windolf and Navia got to this island. I mean, did they use an airship or what? Is that, are they the ones that hit the ship here? In that forest? Probably not. Seems very unlikely. All right, let's take a look and see if that Slothian was telling the truth. Yep, it's there. But we've got a filler fight, so, before we get there, so, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. This has been Ultra Gamer J signing off, hoping to see you all in the next video, and please remember to like and subscribe 
for more content.